and ever wondered how institutions are embracing Bitcoin? Let's dive into the latest news. Uh, did you hear about BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust? It recently experienced a massive inflow of $102.7 million over nine consecutive days. Quite impressive, don't you think? Uh, but wait, there's more. In July alone, BlackRock scooped up over $1 billion worth of Bitcoin. Now that's what we call significant adoption. Co-founder of crypto data platform Apollo, Thomas Farr, shared his thoughts. BlackRock has purchased over $1 billion worth of Bitcoin this month. This is a total acceleration of inflows. And now let's discuss something intriguing. Despite the recent mini-rally, Bitcoin's positive sentiment took a hit, plummeting since March across various social media sites like Twitter, Reddit, Bitcoin Talk, and even 4chan. Go figure. And guess what else? Traders have started piling onto short positions for Bitcoin. According to blockchain market intel firm Santiming, many Binanceans expect another dip. Surprisingly, though, these two in developments might fuel a surge in crypto prices. As far as long-term hodlers go, they remain undeterred, snapping up more coins amid concerns surrounding Mt. Gox and the German government. On-chain analytics provider End of a Block confirmed this trend, stating long-term Bitcoin holders showed confidence last week, adding to their holdings. Wrapping up, although Bitcoin dropped slightly and traded at 64,304 during our discussion, its relative strength index remained robust at 59, reflecting solid bullish momentum among investors. And here's your lighthearted moment. Why did the Bitcoin cross the road? To show it could break barriers. With that said, thanks for tuning in and stay excited for the future of Bitcoin.